Clean aesthetics, simple design, high performance, and premium quality. These are characteristics that are synonymous to the NZXT brand, but does their latest product, the NZXT N7 Z490, live up to those? Well, in today's video, let's find out. All right, so with the intro out of the way, let's get to the motherboard itself. The N7 Z490 is NZXT's latest motherboard, and it's based on Intel's Z490 chipset, has the LGA1200 socket type, so it supports all Intel 10th generation CPUs. But ideally, you should be using an overclockable i7 or an i9 with this board to make use of its full performance, to get its full potential, and you can also make use of its overclocking capabilities if you're into overclocking. But that's not gonna be the reason you're gonna get this board. That's not why you should be considering this board for your next build. There's gonna be two types of buyers for this board, two groups of people who should you know, get this board ASAP for their next build, and I'm gonna to get to it straight away. I don't wanna waste your time with boring specifications and numbers and stuff like that. The first group of people who should buy this motherboard are gonna be people who are into this design and the look of this motherboard itself for its appearance. You know, it's clean, simple, minimal design. This white armor covering, you know, all the electronics, nothing is seen and it's gonna look really clean. And this is also designed for cable management. The way you're gonna connect things inside this board, only few of the cables are gonna be visible and it's gonna give your PC a really clean and simple look. And this, you know, material itself is aluminium so it's pretty premium the build quality of this board is really nice it's pretty solid it's got weight to it it's heavier than usual you know z490 boards and i really like that it gives the board a really premium feel and this is also available in a black color so depending upon your cabinet and the other components you build you should be either going with white or black and no matter what kind of nzxt cabinet you have if you have the h series cases this is going to go perfect with that and the second group of people who should be buying this board are people who are into the NZXT ecosystem. And that is integrated well into this board. You've got NZXT RGB headers, this is CAM integrated. So everything you connect to this board can be technically also customized and monitored from CAM. You can change stuff you know, on the board itself by just using NZXT CAM. And CAM as a software has come a long way. There's updates every few weeks and they're you know, fixing bugs, they're making it better, they're changing the UI. And I really like where CAM is going. So that's the two type of people who should be buying this board. People who are into the look and also people who have a lot of NZXT accessories. Let's see how a lot of NZXT fans, RGB strips, their USB hub, all those kind of things. All of that can be connected right here into this one single hub and everything can be customized and controlled from NZXT CAM. So here's the two types of buyers. Now, if you're interested in the technical side of things and what this board has, let's talk about that. So you've got four RAM slots, your you know, CPU socket, and this top part right here is the VRM heatsink. And the VRM below this board is pretty decent. Nothing spectacular or mind blowing, but it's pretty decent. It's an eight plus two phase system. And there is also a ISL 69269, you know, PWM controller that's going to be handling 10 SIC 632A's 50 amp power stages and in my opinion it can be better it can definitely be better there's other boards out there for enthusiasts you know PC builders in this kind of pricing range but again as I said you're not buying this board for you know enthusiast level performance it's good it's not bad it's not terrible it is decent and it's get, gonna get the job done even if you put in an i9 into this no problem optimum tech so Ali from optimum tech made a really nice video in depth testing this motherboard doing benchmarks doing thermal testing I'm gonna link that below in the description I don't have my you know 10 generation CPU yet so I couldn't do any of that but I'll link that video it's pretty you know in depth and you should definitely watch it but again getting to the IO on this board You've got your Wi-Fi here, and this board does support Intel's Wi-Fi 6 as well as 2.5 gigabit LAN. You've got the clear CMOS switch, which is again found on you know, expensive enthusiast level boards. You've got the HDMI port. You've also got two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports and four USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, out of which one of them is a USB Type-C port. And I don't like that it doesn't support Thunderbolt and in a future revision my suggestion would be to add Thunderbolt support to this board and that's going to be a welcome addition but again there is a modern piece of IO and you can connect your accessories there no problem you've got your Ethernet jack and your audio input so that's going to be that you've also got two M.2 slots on this board so you can add like super fast storage and as you can see you can take off these you know covers they're magnetic pretty easy to take off uh, another suggestion would be to add thermal pads or some sort of heat spreader that can you know prevent the 
M.2 drive from overheating. And the back of this board is also pretty clean. And if you take off these screws, you can take off the VRM heatsink as well. And apart from that, I really like that NZXT is gone with a power and reset switch right on the board. Again, an enthusiast, you know, expensive motherboard feature that's brought down to this price range. We'll talk about that in a bit. And talking about other inputs and headers on this board, you've got three fan headers, you've got three USB 2.0 headers, you've got a 5 volt ARGB, a 12 volt RGB header, and all the basic connectors you expect from a motherboard, at least a Z490 high-end board. And talking about the BIOS of this board, it's very familiar to an ASRock motherboard, which I use. I use an ASRock Z270 board in my PC and it felt like I was home. I was walking into my own home and I went to the BIOS of this motherboard. And it's very, you know, ASRock-like because ASRock is the OEM that's making this motherboard. So no surprise there. It's very well laid out. And yes, I really like the BIOS. It's easy to customize things, you know, change things. And you also have NZXT cam. So if you want to do fan curves and stuff like that, you can just do it from there. But let's say you want to go into the BIOS and do some overclocking, you'll feel right at home if you've used any, you know, ASRock motherboard in the past. So that's that. Now getting to the conclusion of this board, this board retails for $229. And in my opinion, for that, it is worth it for a few things, for its design, some of its extra features, and also the NZXT integration, how it fits into the whole ecosystem of NZXT products. If you have a lot of them, they'll fit right in and they'll work perfectly. So that's that. And if you're into extreme overclocking, if you're an enthusiast, if you want all the big numbers, stay away from this board. Go check out something else, something that looks ugly and doesn't look as good as this one. So that's gonna be that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's been it from my side. I'll leave links down below to buying this board in both black and white colors. Amazon links down below. And you can also read more about this board from NZXT's website itself. All the links, all the you know info will be down below. Go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it, if it was fun. And also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about this board and are you gonna consider this for your next build? But aside from that, my name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, keep smiling, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. And we've been working hard. So if you hating hard, it's a loss, you can fall back. Yeah, yeah, I swear I'm in my The top is where I'm going. I'm there, I'm wanting all that.